Hello everyone, welcome to another video between uh, Google AdSense versus Ezoic. Which one is better? This is going to be a comparison. So as you know, Google AdSense, you can use it on your blogs, you can use it on your uh, YouTube channel, stuff like that. Ezoic, you can mostly use it for your blogs and uh, you need to have uh, an experience in being a blogger in order to join Ezoic. Now, uh, let's take a look at what you need to uh, join Ezoic. That's the first thing. Now, as you can see previously, to join Ezoic, a site needed 10,000 monthly visitors. But now, since they have removed this threshold limit, any site with a decent number of views can apply. Keep in mind that you will need to have at least 1,000 views or 1,000 monthly visits, right? Uh, Google policy should be followed by your website. Uh, usually, Ezoic is just for blogs and just for websites and your site should be in AdSense supported languages as well. Even though you're not joining the AdSense, uh, you know, it needs to be in your AdSense supported languages. S second thing is your site should comply with AdSense policy. Again, even though you're joining Ezoic, it needs to uh, uh, comply with AdSense policy. Now, you aren't eligible for Ezoic if your site is a corporate or e-commerce at the moment. Only informational content rich sites such as blogs, uh, and stuff like that, you know, content uh, sites can apply for the Ezoic platform. Now, these are just some of the requirements for Ezoic. On the other side, we have AdSense. Uh, again, for the AdSense, your content should be original. The minimum age to apply for AdSense program is 18. However, you can still sign up with AdSense using your parent or guardian's account, which is great. Your sh site should be at least six months uh, old. Uh, this is unwritten rule, but Google uses it to avoid spammy websites, as you can see. And then your sh uh, site should comply with AdSense policies and your website should be in AdSense friendly language. Now, if you compare these two, um, AdSense requirements are much more easy to get in than Ezoic requirements. That's the first thing or the first pro when I compare these two uh, platforms together. Now, uh, obviously, if you want to do YouTube, and blogging at the same time, then AdSense should be your uh, primary uh, platform for advertising. However, if you just want to do blogs, then Ezoic might be your best bet for that. Uh, however, both of these platforms are good. Now, let's take a look at the earnings. Now, as you can see, Ezoic earnings, uh, Ezoic AI tool helps you optimize your site and enables you to optimize ad placement, region location and timing for higher revenue. Now, this is great because this is something that, um, you know, that um, Google AdSense does not have. Now, as you can see, you can expect around $40 to $60 for a thousand page view. However, it will depend on various other factors. Now, you can use a Zoe calculator to also calculate that as well. Um, and this is basically how this would look like right here. The total earnings, you know, visitors, and then you can see here the EPMV. Uh, you can calculate your EPMV with this, uh, every single thing right here and, and metrics right here. Um, but yeah, this is how what you can do with uh, Ezoic. Now, when it comes to the uh, AdSense earnings, um, for example, um, as you can see right here, whenever revenue they get paid um, from ads placed on your website, they will give you 68% of it. For example, if they earn $200 in advertising revenue, uh, by placing ads on your site, they will pay you $136. And for AdSense for search, you'll get 51% of total revenue, uh, which is pretty understandable. I mean, that's that's okay. It's not just, you know, it's not that good, but it's okay. So Google AdSense uh, revenue mainly depends on your audience region and niche. So um, as you can see, you will be able to earn uh, based on your audience region and niche. Uh, when it comes to the Ezoic, you will uh, be able to earn uh, just from the view count. So I think AdSense when it comes to this is much better for beginners. Ezoic is much better for experienced uh, people that are already in blogging space. Um, and if you know that you're getting at least thousand, uh, you know, thousand uh, plus views uh, per month, then I would definitely go with Ezoic. If you're just starting out and if you don't know, you know, whether or not uh, you know, uh, you want to monetize later on, you can just go with AdSense at the start and that's it. So again, Zoic for experienced people, uh, AdSense for not so experienced people or beginners. That's what I would do. Uh, comment down below which one is best for you. However, this is what I would pick and choose. And this is why I think AdSense is much better in this per, uh, comparison, just because it has a lower barrier of entry. So 
yeah thank you guys for watching uh, we'll see you in the next upcoming video and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching